Hey guys, today I'm going to be playing From Dust on the PC. And I should probably change the title. I was going to play something else. And then at the last minute I switched things. Because I'm in the season. Nikita, I siku ya bertama. Tida kata mekumobu, tida ro kati ketawi, tida ro nashi naki naki, tanpa kita terpisah tasindiri dan dunia ini. Bertama, kita ro belajar untuk lazim dunia. What? Yeah, I'm playing with an Xbox controller. Dalam ro berkat lazim dunia, tapi fikirah ro kosong dan kami jawab. Setelah meditasi ini bahagia, berjela inawesa oleh bermula. Alright, let that do its thing real quick. Hopefully it keeps playing. I just gotta switch this real fast. I was originally going to play uh, the Van Helsing game, but then at the last second, I decided to play this first. Yes, come on. The game doesn't like when I alt tab out. What? Oh, it has controller support, but not really. Support like half controller support. Is that it? <sighs> oh, I guess we just gotta switch it in here. It's kind of stupid. Why would you have to tech my controller? Follow them. All right, stop whining. I'll help you. Oh, really? 
through the tunnel. Se bwa dunia yangu baru di bawa ya kita. Orang zamani tila menubu se bwa atiang samanu. Kita bermai sherere kijiji. <sighs> All right. I have played this game on the Xbox. So, I remember, like, some of what to do. I remember some of the strategies. Not all of them, though. Because I can't pick up water yet, right? No. If I'm not mistaken, this one just becomes kind of sort of a pain in the ass later. Like, okay, let me back up. Later on, these things will give you, like, powers. Like, different powers. Like, infinite earth and, like, crap like that. But, if I'm not mistaken, this one is just hard to get the, the vegetation on because of this thing. Because eventually all this sand gets, like, pushed out. And we can't, like, we can close it up, but not, like, permanently. Like, if I'm not mistaken, eventually it, like, springs back up. To like get the village you have to make sure there's no water around it. Or other like there's other elements too, like you can't you gotta make sure like there's no lava. Like I think a little bit is okay, like there's a little water. Actually let me get some of the sand out of here. As far as I remember, like, you can get, like, these things, but they don't actually, like, do anything. They don't give you anything special. See, like, now once you get them all, you can either go to the next level, or you can get the vegetation up for, like, I think extra stuff, whatever. The other, like, pain in the ass thing is, too, like, when the vegetation comes up, you start getting animals, and they start digging over here, and get rid of all that sand. So that's kind of sort of like another issue. These, I think, unlock memories. Yeah. 
You just gotta cover like the dirt, well like the rock and uh, sand to help spread the vegetation. I don't want any water to come over there because that's like a big spot. should do it cuz like once it comes over here we'll be okay And I'm pretty sure like once you actually get 100% like you don't even need to worry anymore you could like uproot it as much as you want like it's not gonna take it away. Like these things make the water go in. They're a pain. Because they, like, when they move, see how they start making, like, ripples and stuff? I don't know, whatever. Like, they move the, the water in. That's why you have to be, like, careful. Now we just gotta make a path for the guys. See, that's a problem. I need to knock it off. We have dirt up here that's not uh, being used. See, they're killing it. Oh, I hate these things. some more. Oh, it's all these things fault really, like that's why I can't use this island that well. Destroy my vegetation. Oh, 
Oh well. I'm not gonna bug out over it. I probably should just move this all beforehand. That's why I screwed up. But yeah, that's all you have to do, like right here, I guess. Just move. Just move the move the sand before they come. Because they destroy it. What's up, Meowza? Terja Lama, Kami Memba Wakami. La kini namu dunkum ya berkutan. Ge mamaji masi bergatar duniani. These will keep coming too. So you just gotta be fast about it. The other thing is, like, because this is moving water, eventually it will, like, break this barrier down. Lucky, lucky. Why, Jackie, she, she, Tamparaza, a cook. I'm just bored. You don't actually have to do any of this. But there isn't much I can do until the uh, typhoon hits or the tidal wave, whatever the hell it is. And then once that hits, uh, 
I don't know. Is there a memory thing here? There has to be. Where is it? That's not it. It's somewhere. Right? I'm pretty sure every stage has one. Oh, I think that's it up here, isn't it? I don't know. It's weird. I thought there was one in this stage, maybe not. Yeah, like, now that you got that, like, when the tidal wave hits, it's not gonna destroy your village. Like, they'll put up, like, a little invisible wall. I don't know, he might not drown. Or she, uh, Yeah, but see, like, it wiped that away. So we'll have to fix that. Man, I really, really honest to God could have sworn. Like that's where we gotta go. But every I'm almost certain every stage should have like a little totem like the like the other one. Alright, so we gotta be quick, try to send them here. They're all gonna get pissed off right here and be like, oh no, we can't leave, and then we're gonna build a really, really big uh sand barrier for them. But we have to wait until uh we have to wait till they're all close, because like I said, it's basically, it's going to um, be washed away by this. So we'll just build a bunch of sand there for now, I guess. I mean, you just have to be quick. I don't know if there's a better way, but this is the way I do it. And then you can, like, suck up water, too. And do it that way. Remember, you only need to get five there. Actually, probably close that off and have it go that way too. Because I think eventually, I I mean I may be mistaken, but I think eventually like this will just break all over it. 
Oh yeah, that's another thing too, like, when you get a new village, uh, like, you have to bring this over. So this village right now, like, if, uh, if the tidal wave hit, this village would be destroyed. So that's, like, that's another thing you do have to look out for. Basically what we're going to do here is build a bridge going this way with uh, sand. So you don't want to do it like over here because it's all like that's the way the current's going so it'll wash it all the way right there. This one's not hard to get all the vegetation on. The other, I honestly, I would have gotten it on the other one, but I, I screwed up. Like, I forgot. Like, I mean, I remembered that those stupid, like, bugs or whatever would come. But I didn't, I forgot that they, uh, they actually, like, destroy your vegetation that quickly. Like, I, if I, I kind of, yeah, screwed up on that. Because I, if I remembered correctly, which I obviously didn't, was that, uh, even though they destroyed it, like you could still be quick and get to a hundred, and then it wouldn't matter. But I dropped the ball. Um, I don't know if it's worth it to pull all the water out. Or if I should just put sand there. These goddamn things. Actually, I don't know if you could take all the water out of there. I mean, you probably could. I don't need all this sand anyway, so I'll just do that. I'll just lift it. That's another thing, like, you can lift them up. It doesn't, uh... Like, you won't bury it. Like now, once your vegetation is at 100%, it doesn't matter anymore. Like, you can destroy all of it, and I'm, it doesn't matter. Like, you already unlocked it, so that's it. No more need to worry. Like, it, it, honestly, it gets easier, too, like, when you actually get powers. Because, like, later on, when you unlock villages, like, you'll get certain powers. Like, one of them I, I, is, like, a bigger, um, whatever you want to call this. Like, you get a bigger sphere so that you can take more, 
more of whatever element it is. Uh, there's one that like dries up all the water. There's like an infinite one where like whatever, I think it's infinite earth, not water. You get like infinite earth where um, for a set amount of time you can just keep pouring the sand everywhere. Sand, dirt, whatever you want to call it. Which is like very, very useful because you'll have stages like this where like you have to like build up. You have to build up like the sand or whatever, like you know, to cross a path or something, and that just makes your life so much easier. Oh, that means somebody's drowning. That's right, I forgot. Gotta be careful because we just had that uh, tidal wave that screwed up the landscape. But yeah, like you'll see, like see over here, like all the vegetation here is gone. Some of the sand is gone. I think I had vegetation somewhere around here too, but it won't go down. I'm hitting A, come on. Atau ilombang raksasa jamenya fu semua. Uh, I think this is where we get introduced to lava. Yes, it is. Alright. Now, lava is both awesome and not awesome. Because you can use lava to build up like walls and defenses and stuff which is great which is amazing but uh, lava will also kill your people obviously and eventually there's like a there is a lava totem just like you saw for like the water there's one for lava which is great because then you don't have to worry but the problem becomes lava like this stage particularly for example gonna be a pain in the ass because the lava will burn up all the vegetation and aside from not being able to get 100% vegetation if that vegetation is burning you can lose a village if you're not careful because it'll it'll burn right to your village like let's say it was connected here and that lava like came here it would burn all this because it's connected and you, I mean you can put it out you can put it out no problem, like with some water, but then you also have to remember, like, you know, uh, if your village doesn't have the water totem yet, like mine doesn't, you could end up destroying your village with water. So that's not good either. And I think this is about right. Like, uh, you don't have to. I don't remember you having really to worry too much. And the other thing is, like, this also, you know, this obviously goes both ways, like, you see that it's building here, but when, like, this comes, like, even though it's hitting the water, this is all turning into rock, so eventually this will reach your village, and that's what you want to prevent. And you can use water to, you know, mess with the lava, you can also, like, take the lava itself and do the same thing over here to build, like, a bridge, like, a little gap, I guess you could say, whatever. But it's a pain. I might not get 100% vegetation on this one, just because it is a, a real pain in the ass. Now with this, I'm gonna build a wall. And that's another thing too, like, you have to be quick in this one, 
because you don't like if you're going for the 100% vegetation you don't want to mess around too much because once that lava really reaches your village you're screwed because you know we don't have those two rooms and as long as it comes out that it's okay here uh, with this next tsunami or whatever uh, I will I will go ahead and uh, have them go get this one I just want to make sure it doesn't destroy this alright so I need a little bit more lava but not much Oh, what did it come in like right here, I think? Yeah, that see that sucks, but like if I put lava here, it will destroy the village. Like right then and there, that would be it. And this isn't gonna matter too much anyway, because as soon as I get that piece, like it doesn't matter if water comes in. And you can't stop the flow of lava. Oh, good. We got Jellify water. Jellify water is good. Like, does not matter. You cannot stop this. It will just keep coming. No matter how much water you put on it, dirt, sand, does not matter. Oh, if you get like, see how there's water there? If you start like picking up water and then move it, it'll just get the water. That's another little like trick I learned. Like, if there's a little bit of water there or something, sometimes you end up picking up the dirt. don't want it getting your village because it'll take longer for it to get to your village through here and then like I said you just want to be careful you don't want the lava to hit the vegetation just yet, or at least not near your village, for obvious reasons. Alright. We're almost done anyway. send them here and as soon as they get close I will jellify the water which basically just stops the water as the name suggests see not good you do not want this getting anywhere in your village That's another thing, it does not matter where you drop it, you got it. Oh, 
The other thing is, like, you can cancel the powers at any time. Like, that does not matter. Like, if I hit up... Well, because I'm using a D-pad. Like, if I hit up on the D-pad right now, then it would just uh, stop everything. Which, obviously... Now the reason I'm doing this, it might look stupid, is because since the water is jellified, like any lava that tries to come will automatically be stopped. And like once the jellify is done, it's obviously just going to shoot down. Like it's just going to become standard water again. Uh, yeah, see? But it knocks us it all out. Now there's a short cooldown, and then we could uh, jellify the water again, and we'll be set. Yeah, nothing bad is gonna happen to him. He's just gonna like whine, I guess you could say. He can't reach. But there's nothing we could do. Even if he died, like, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it sucks, obvious, for obvious reasons, but it doesn't matter that much. See, like, this is kind of a problem, because if it gets to that lava, we are screwed. What I like to do is, like, I'll cut this off right here. Because you have to remember too, like if there's no sand, then it's not gonna be there. Uh, we can jellify the water, which means we can make him pass. But, I mean, we don't really need to. There's like the tsunami is not gonna get him. But whatever, it makes him feel better, I guess. Definitely have to get rid of some of this. come out faster than like right now it's not I guess active so it's not that big of a deal but this will eventually come out faster than you could um, like absorb it but now it's not that big of a deal because we have the hundred percent vegetation you could use jellify water there also that's not Oh, and this is what I was talking about. And the only way to stop it is to douse it in water. So, obviously, like, not that good. Yeah, there are... I mean, that's gonna happen, unfortunately. Until I can jellify the water. Right now my priority is making sure that that does not get near my village. Because my village does not have any sort of defense over that. Alright, so now we can jellify the water. Make a path for everybody. Now see, it's still red, that's fine. That just means we have to put dirt there so that they can get up. Yeah, that's another problem, because it keeps like, putting sand there. I mean, that guy's just gonna have to stay there. I don't know what to tell him right now. The 
this is the priority. Like I said, like nothing you do is gonna matter with the lava. See, like doesn't matter. Just absorbed it. If anything, you'll, it'll just raise it up. It, you know, whatever. But we're good to go. We're done. C'était là, à Camité là, mais comme au bout. Quitte à Meli à Serpeti, Mereka, Lagi, Lenka. C'est beau, il dit tout, c'est ma sabère. La monde de côté là, bah, ou à la ou l'oumara. Mais nos canages a dit, mais les carreaux pergés. Jaguar d'Allah, c'est le petit bar, il n'y a que des comportements. Oh, that's fun. This one is uh, actually not terrible. Oh, we finally have one of those. This one, it's, it's not that bad, but you have to be careful because there's a bunch of uh, those sprouts buried. So, you know, you go to pick up sand and the next thing you know, you have water everywhere. And as you can see, this one's kind of a pain. It doesn't... Doesn't really uh, stay down too well. And like I said, you gotta be careful because you're digging, and the next thing you know, you've sprouted water. See? <laughs> Which, uh, I don't really mind it being right there for now. That's fine. I don't care. Actually, you know what? Let's just leave that. Oh yeah, this stuff right here, yeah, you cannot grow vegetation on it, and the only way to like do anything is either to pour dirt on it or to uproot it. And then just yeah, yeah, keep doing this. But like I said, just gotta be careful. You can go digging too much and you'll sprout a leak. Yes, dance. And then some of them, like, you just can't do anything about. Like right here, I don't think I pulled that one up. They just come up. See, we need the water, but not right now, not yet. It's still a little too early for that. Once we have this, then it's okay. Then we, we do whatever we gotta do with the water. Uh, I wanna get that. That's slowly going down, okay. Yeah. Oh, see, evaporate like that'll just get rid of all the water. And then, you know, we've already seen jellify water. Alright, so as soon as they get that, we'll get this. I'm gonna work on getting over there. That's the other thing too, like because you, you know, obviously you want to get the uh, vegetation, 
The one thing you don't want to do is go crazy and have all the water sprouting out. I mean, you can, uh, for obvious reasons, like, that's fine, you can just close it back up. But if you have too much water on your map, then you're not going to be able to get all your vegetation. I'm hitting A. I mean, like I said, if you have too much, too much water, then you run out of land, and it can be somewhat difficult, like, once it's, once you have, like, springs that are, like, in water, it could be somewhat difficult to get them out, because, you know, you're just dumping sand on water, this and that, but, like I said, as soon as, uh, as soon as we get this one, I will start, uh, working on getting the water going, vegetation going, it's not that hard, and then this, uh, actually we need to be careful with because they have to go here. Alright, that's good. Now this one is actually like the most pain because I know that there are water sprouts near it. See? I already uprooted one. Which we don't want to do. That's another thing, like you have to get rid of some of this so that they can get to that statue. Now, uh, I am going to use evaporate, just because I can't have water near this until they get it and everything's all settled. There can be no water there. Now, since everything evaporated, I can actually just end it early. And uh, like as you just saw, the earlier you end it, the less time you have to wait for it to actually like recharge. It's not like it's not a constant recharge. Like it, do it doesn't matter if you use it for 10 seconds or 20 seconds. Like it's it's not gonna be like oh you still have to wait like you know a minute. No, none of that stuff. These little things I don't really use them, but you can uh reacts to heat and it's. Uh, yeah, you should be able- oh, I probably can't yet, because they didn't show me about it, maybe. But you can pick these up and fill them with water, like you put them by water, and then they grow. And then, like, let's say there's fire, uh, as soon as, as there's, like, fire near them, they release all the water. So that's good for lava, but there's no lava here. Alright, so, I can start putting water out now. I can start getting some water out, because this is so crazy. Actually, can I uproot that? I think I was hitting the wrong button. No, I wasn't. I can't. Okay. Alright, so, actually, I don't want to, I don't want to put water here. Let me go, uh, let me go over here and get some water. Oh no, there's a sprout here. sprouts. Three? Because well, didn't I just cover one? Yeah. So see, look at that. There's just so many in such a, like, a tight vicinity. That's why you really need to be uh, careful on this map. Yeah, 
that's just it. I don't need that much water. That's kind of an issue. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good to have that much water, but... It's too much. Like, look at that, those three sprouts and I have water everywhere already. But it's fine. Because we'll make water come down there. Uh, I'm gonna hit a sprout. Tons of water. Water everywhere. Half the territory. I want all the territory. Good, that's good. We're getting there. This is kind of the only thing I want to change. I want a bridge here. Let me get rid of some of this water. Yeah, I just need like a little bit of a bridge because I need them to walk to the exit. Evaporates some of the water. That's another thing, you don't have to actually get it all. But that's. You know. I'm just screwing around waiting for them to get there. Just connecting my water.
Dipula oni tani Roma Amerika. Bebe rapa menang na fa kushoma. Le putan la ida iri maji. Ta ulu zamani te la menadan kushoma. Kitara bermula laji. Jika ti dakte nang ro. Beraki. Ah. See, here's what I was talking about. But it's also bad because those are uh, fire ones. Oh shit, I can't uproot them yet. I think I can uproot these though. No? Oh wait, no. I'm over here looking at the wrong one, that's why. Why can I not move these? I should be able to place them. Do we have controls? No, I get that. Maybe I don't have controls. I don't know. I thought I did. Maybe I, maybe I have to get the village before I can uh, move them. I don't know. You can move them. I don't know why I can't right now. I don't have any powers here, right? Ugh, this map is gonna kind of be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, good, okay. Which you're gonna want here. Actually, no, I guess you want that, you want to put it where they tell you to put it? Whatever. And I can't, can I root these yet? No, of course not. See? That's a problem. It is a big problem. See, as long as these are here, they will protect this village. So that's good. But I need these guys to go here. At some point, I'm almost certain I get to move the fire ones in this one. Thank you. 
can actually probably just do that, make a little moat there or something. That's how we're going to solve that problem for right now. Just going to take all that away. <laughs> Sink it. Oh, it'll eventually evaporate the water, don't get me wrong, but for now. I suck. I have to move that. That should be enough, I think. No, really? It's not? Oh, no, it is. See, liars. Right, and it's so tiny over there. Uh, come on, camera, I don't care. Why 
is that not growing? Oh, there it goes. Whatever, I'm not moving it again. Actually, I lied, I know. I'll move it right there. That way I could just do that. Oh, Alright. So I gotta get that one now. Alright, so I basically just have to make sure that the vegetation doesn't get over here, and I'll be alright. As long as I cut that off, it'll be fine. I don't need to use evaporate just yet. I, I mean, I, I will need to, but not yet. stop but evaporate now enough is out uh, this poses a problem because now the fire can get over there which obviously is not good so I'm gonna flood this area Because I cannot afford to have the fire spread. They <laughs> had too much water. It blew up. Which is good, because I don't want them anywhere. I wonder if I could plant them in water. I don't remember if I could. But like I said, uh, I'm just gonna like separate them from everything else.
Alright, so we basically want to get our vegetation in order. So I'm going to evaporate the water yet again, because now it doesn't matter. I can finally move those. Because obviously this is like a prime spot for vegetation. I mean, it's pretty large. Like I said, I'm gonna just group them all together. Because I don't really have a use for them. I mean, the biggest thing right now is to just spread the vegetation and then I can get out of here. Which isn't gonna be that hard. will be useful, obviously. Don't want water there. But I also don't want it to catch any vegetation on fire, because I am going to spread some. Oh wait, I have- did I have one there? No, I moved it, okay. So yeah, I don't re I don't need them too much. I do want to use them a little bit though. It's time to spread everything. Which, honestly, it's not hard. I mean, it, I know it looks like, oh man, there's like really not a whole lot of spaces, but it's also very easy to, uh, to spread this stuff. not doing shit for me, so you can stay there. See, as soon as it spreads here, we're pretty much golden. Just want to get rid of some of that stupid stuff. sand here that you can use. This is spreading nice. 
I mean, there are probably uh, a little bit better ways to do it. I don't know. I'm just, I was just playing cautiously, I guess you could say. it. I can spread it to this island, which is what I intend on doing. Oh, we got a hundred. Don't matter anymore. All right, everybody over there. I didn't even realize that uh, it was already at a hundred or uh, that close rather. We'll jellify the water too, don't let it come back. some spread here. I could have just did that. Anyway, they're good to go. Alright guys, it's been an hour and a half. I'm going to take a quick five minute break. I will be right back.